Yes. Guys, uh, I know you wondering why uh, you did not achieve a lot as a as a young team. Uh, the Gen Z's who are outside there, you didn't really respect uh, the space that you were given. Uh, a number of us sat back and gave you the space. Of course, let's say you went and took the space, which is a, a commendable thing. You know, you go get us. You know uh, how to grab the space. But how to use the space is a problem. You got an opportunity to go outside there and present your cases. And then all of a sudden you change the opportunity that was given to you by people who trusted in the move that you could have made to a political move. Just because you got little support from opposition and people who did not want good for this particular government, you felt like now you could change tune from reject finance bill to Russo, Ruto must go. And who told you Ruto must go was a common factor here? Now, probably finance bill was a common factor. Everybody um, felt the pinch and the pressure. And if it was just about the taxation and uh, maybe some imposed tax on imported goods and a few uh, stuff here and there, that is just a single line of governance. You think presidency is all about just a uh, matter of sanitary towel taxation and, and bread taxation? Presidency is a, a sea of uh, intertwined management and uh, coordinated uh, uh, system. Now, there are people who believe so much in so many other aspects of governance of uh, His Excellency, the President, only differed on one term. So you want to think one term because you think there's only a particular term you're not comfortable with. Now, you can go outside there and tell us that Ruto must go. Stick to one thing. You cannot put 100 demands on a single sheet and you expect to get justice. If you went outside there and you wanted finance bills scrapped off, and it was, just as you asked, it was scrapped off. And the finance bill is no more. Because the president is that democratic, he listened to your words and decided to say, I'm not assenting to this particular finance bill. Then uh, instead of now pulling down your troops and saying, okay, fine, let's see how we can uh, put up another coordinated approach to this, or rather uh, put up a discussion with the uh, president, uh, if there is any other thing we need, then we get it using that particular system. The president has been humble enough even to ask to sit down with you guys so that you discuss, and then you turn down that invitation. The president has even decided to come to the space to talk to you. And I, I really regret who advised the president to get to that space. Yeah, but okay, fine. He was humble enough. One of the things that not any African president has ever imagined to do, to sit down with you, and then you give an opportunity, instead of telling the president what you really want, it's, you don't even know what you want. You begin beating about the bush. It changes from, no, it, President, it is not you, you are a good leader. It is Gashagua. No, it is not Gashago. It is Nyamu. It is not... Come on. What the heck? What is your problem, you people? We gave you all the trust that you could go there and represent us well. But you have really, really, really disappointed us. You've wasted our time. You've wasted... This. There is no way you can hope to fix a problem by causing another problem. You know, you know there is high cost of living, there is burden in terms of how the revenue is allocated and how uh, money is flowing into this country. And then you go torch down buildings, you know, you go pull down uh, billboards, you go ravage the entire streets, you go you know, spoil stuff in parliament, seriously. And I had somebody, a leader, whom I really had respected for a long time, I think I lost my respect for him, saying that the people are just right to go and torch the governor's house, saying that the people are just right to go into parliament and pull down infrastructure and demolish them, and one run away with, with the staff, the firearms, uh, including the mess, you see? And he thinks that is just okay, that those things belong to the people. Those things belong to the people, yes, but they belong to everybody. It's not like they only belong to Gen Z and not all the Gen Zs, just a few that went to the street. No, 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 no. Those things that you people went and broke belong to everybody. And therefore you, are, you must be held responsible and accountable for everything that you did. If you don't have a parliament today, it's not you people who don't have a parliament. Everybody don't have a It's not just you. If the monies are going to be scrapped off from other avenues to find a way of fixing the stuff that you broke in Parliament, then 
what are you trying to talk about? Aren't you seeing that that burden is going even to multiply on the people who did not go to the streets? I think you people did not work right. You didn't use your brains. You used pressure. And as, let me assume, let me give you credit that as many of you, uh, do not call them leaders or whatever, or spokesmen, say that you are not involved in the rioters act, that you are not involved in the looting and you are not involved in demolitions and, and, and arsonry. If you weren't involved, why couldn't you call out your, your teams? That's why I'm telling you, people did not have the requisite infrastructure to organize a demonstration of that kind and a revolt of the kind. Because there is no way you can lack leadership structures. People who would give commands, people who would call the troops out of the streets and tell them enough is enough, or somebody has come and it's trying to camouflage, it's trying to uh, take ride on our, on our existence in the street, and they are going to waste our image. So, pull <coughs> out. You know, even in, in, the, in the war front, there is always somebody who gives the command for you to, to push forward or to hold your positions or to pull back, to retreat. If you are there, you, this is like a war. Without a commander, what do you expect? So, guys, uh, you wasted. I know people don't want to discuss this. People are fearing this subject because they feel when they say this, one, the accounts will be shut down, you know, you'll report our accounts because we think we are not going. It is not because we fear anything. It is because we gave you time to realize you're making mistakes. But you've taken too far and taken too long to realize that you are making mistakes to an extent that now the damage is now falling unto us. Uh, when you look at us, the millennials and even the Gen X, if we didn't make that kind of a move, then uh, it doesn't mean that we were uh, cowards. Sometimes we weren't. We just knew that there is no need of hitting a mosquito with a hammer. Yeah? Sometimes you don't need a gun to shoot a fly on your brother's face. So we, you were making it even worse. So guys, if there is anything you can do, first of all, I think Majenzis, the best thing you can even do is to apologize. Wale watu ambao walikuwa naingia kwa masupermarket na kutoa vitu na kulut na and they you and you saying those are not you. Then how do you then begin to mutu anasema ati kuna watu wengine ambao waliingia miongoni wenyu na wakaanza kufanya all that that uh, business. Now did you tell us who? Didn't you even reorganize that? I said that, okay, fine, now that kuna watu ingini ambao wame ingi hapa, let us summon us, uh, ourselves through our leadership structures, and, uh, okay, sisi, let us jiribrand, tuchukwe tukibrand, tuweke hata hata karist band, tuweke hata kabandana, tuandike sisi nijenzi, so that we are identified. You knew so well, ya komba, you will remain unidentified in a midst of watu ambao pia watakuwa na niambaya. I love you keep on pressing every time Munaenda pale, na wale watu wakupale. Alafu munaanza kublame polisi. Polisi ya kishoot. Now, the, you have told the police ya komba, amidst us, kuna wakora ambao pia wameingia. Their aim is to loot, their aim is to kill, their aim is to maim, their aim is to do stuff that are not right. Wako miongo ni mwetu. Lakini yata sita hatu wajui, and we are still just riding their boat to kotu now how. And then the police is, see you coming in your numbers, and they can't tell who are agencies and who are these wakora ambao wako miongo ni wenyu. And you expect the police just to say, okay, hallelujah, you people are Gen Z's. And you... Those people have lives. They have families. And they have an oath of office. They have an oath to protect those particular things you people are going to. Guys, don't, don't take us for fools. You know, my account is here and it's open. You can do that thing you really feel you can do. I have a number of those accounts I can, I can use a backup one. But um, I think I'm Jafanya Vizuri. And I mean, I'm Jafanya uh, Mulianza Vizuri, the first demonstration was a good one, a peaceful one, and I really commended you guys for doing uh, good work. But then when you, me when you went back after the president had accepted to shut down the finance bill, then you went too far. Be because we lost you. Myself, I lost you. I didn't know what you wanted. Nimulikum nataka nini? Kama hamu kutaka hile ambacho, kile ambacho mulikipewa tena, mulikum nataka gani? Now, why is it that you are not packaging yourself that way? Why did you allow politicians to get inside you? Why did you allow the hatred that what wengine wako nao Naruto, you override 
your purpose so that by the end of the day you do not even have a reason as to where you went to the streets. Stop being, and don't take us for fools, Bwana. Natuja enda kwa streets kubomua vitu kwa sababu tunaonda gagarama ya kubomua vitu wakati mgini ya kuwa kubwa kuliko garama ya kupigania kitu kidogo ambacho kineza kuwa fixed at a sitting. Can't you organize yourself and do a round table sitting? Kwa ni hawa tu wote, do you tell us wote, nini pekenyu tu, do muko na kilitimamu, hawa tu wote ambao wanawaita. And why then did you vote? Why did you vote all the MPs? Because now it even changed. You're not even asking your MPs to come down while you know so well that the same same bill that mliko mnasema ilitoka parliament na pio parliament sits your MPs, not the president. Na muna jwa vizuri, the bill was generated from the committee. Ampapo pale kuna MPs ambao mliwae. Why why couldn't you begin by the people who are, who are present in that committee and then go to your MPs who voted yes or no and move up that ladder? Why the president? Why couldn't somebody just realize that there is a problem, there is a beef between this particular group and the president? Msitu bebe ufala sana. Najua, you people are town dwellers, meishi hapo town, mezaliwa tao, meishi tao, mkadhani maisha ni hivu bana. We tested town at one point na tumetest two kupia. So tunajua, kuna wakati mgini you have to retreat, kuna wakati mgini you have to, have to push on. So if you are not pushing, we have known the reasons. If we are, if we are here and asking you people to give a here to... Mpaka hata muna dabu, muna sema mambo yenye hata mkisikiza. Hata, you know, your president is your, your dad at home, your president is their elder. The things you're saying don't even make you fit in my society. Like you are totally an outcast even without mention. Nah, I don't love it. Mimi, I'm not subscribing to your school of thoughts and um, uh, I lost you long ago. And I, I was also there, but I lost you. Yeah. A.M. Cockman Sandy, the reality speaker. Follow me for more hard reality sport on talk. Here on TikTok, and in my YouTube channel at Cockman Sandy. Break a leg, buddy.